Welcome back. Now moving towards another modification of von Mantel's formula, that is Simmons modification. Uh, you already know that in the previous modification given by Howard, the growing stock was assessed to the half of the di exploitable diameter or age. A more general formula was given by Simon. He told that it should not be strictly one half of the rotation. We can have uh, the growing stock enumerated to any portion of the growing, you know, uh, age class or diameter. So for that, uh, we have to understand uh, G, let G be the growing stock, total growing stock. V, the volume of growing stock that is enumerated. A, the volume of growing stock that is not enumerated. And N is rotation divided by age of the oldest class. That is A is equal to R upon X. To further understand this, let's assume that we have a rotation of 120 years. And X is the age that is 20 years up to which uh, we have decided to enumerate the growing stock up to 20 years diameter or for that purpose parallelly we can see 20 centimeter diameter. So N in that case becomes 120 upon 6 as we can see here. You can see here in this example it becomes 120 upon 6 so n becomes 6 means rotation is divided into six parts of the exploitable diameter or girth each is equal to r upon n to further understand this let's have a look at this diagram where a b and c represents the growing stock and V represents the growing stock that is enumerated, being enumerated up to the age or diameter that is X. This, this portion. So this portion we are going to enumerate using Simmons modification. And this portion, the left out triangle A is the unenumerated portion of the growing stock. To further understand this, we have divided the entire triangle ABC into smaller triangles which are represented by a small letter A. And now from the figure, it is clear that growing stock volume major is represented by B, C, D, X. That is B, C, D and X. This is the growing stock that has to be measured for uh, or enumerated. Now, uh, the triangle A, X, D is equal to A. This smaller triangle A, X, D is the volume unenumerated. As already, I, I, I already told you this, all the triangles are marked as A, smaller triangles. We have divided this for the purpose of uh, calculation to make it more easier and understandable. Now, the total growing stock of A, B, C, the whole growing stock can be represented by A, this triangle, plus 3A, 1, 2 and 3A, plus 5A, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5A. Plus, if we have another, uh, you know, uh, perpendicular line here, means f this will be five smaller triangles, one, two, three, four, and five. Then another one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it will it will go on till we reach up to the rotation age. So here, it follows the total growing stock follows a uh, you know will be est can be estimated by using a uh, you know formula which is given by a plus 3a plus 5a and so on up to 2n minus 1a a is the first term this is the second term third term and this is the last term now looking at this equation it looks like it is following an arithmetic progression now we know the sum of uh, you know terms in an arithmetic progression uh, the summation can be estimated as g is equal to n upon 2 uh, bracket a plus 2n minus 1 into a uh, into a which is the last term further solving this further solving this we uh, uh, have uh, g is equal to n upon 2 a plus 2 a n minus 1 so we are multiplying this by the term a 
uh, further uh, you know solving this we get uh, g is equal to n upon 2 cancelling this a and a we are left with 2 a n so g is equal to n square a this becomes the first equation now uh, we know that enumerated growing stock that is v is equal to total growing stock minus smaller triangle a this v is equal to total growing stock which we call as g minus this smaller triangle so uh, putting the uh, uh, equation one in this formula we get v is equal to n square a minus a further solving this we get v is equal to taking a as common we are left with n square minus one this becomes the second equation now dividing first equation by second we get g upon v is equal to n square a that is here and n square a minus a that is here further solving this we get a and a gets cancelled n square upon n square minus 1 now uh, solving this for uh, g that is total growing stock is equal to v into n square upon n square minus 1 this becomes our equation third now we know that annual yield y is equal to 2 gs by r that is von mantel's formula now putting this von mantel's formula in this equation we get y is equal to 2 n square upon r uh, bracket n square minus 1 into v which becomes our next equation now we can which is the yield which we get using Simmons modification uh, using Simmons modification formula wherein we can enumerate growing stock up to any n up to any 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 n it is it is not defined it is it's up to you to uh, uh, define that then we have uh, in terms of we can put n in terms of r and x as in each in the initial slide we uh, found a relation uh, between r n and x in terms of r and x the same y can be converted into uh, uh, converted in terms of r and x as 2r upon r square minus x square into v now this is in terms the yield in terms of n and this is yield in terms of r if we take a numerical wherein we have rotation of 100 years and growing stock has to be uh, enumerated down to 20 years of age or 20 centimeter diameter volume measures uh, is equal to volume has been found to be 2500 cubic meter now applying the formula in terms of n n is the number of parts into which the entire rotation is divided and uh, r is the rotation and x is the portion up to which the rotation is uh, the enumeration is done so r is 100 years x is 20 years putting the formula first formula that we derived uh, n is equal to so from this we can calculate n is equal to 100 upon 20 is equal to 5 so we get 50 cubic meter and applying uh, the formula in terms of r and x we get the same 50 meter we can use either of the formula to uh, get yield using Simmons modification formula. Thank you.